Hi, it's Therese with Polka Dots, and I'm here on this beautiful day. You probably can't tell that because I'm inside, but hopefully it's still beautiful when you see this. Um, I'm here to show how to um, make some of the, or what to do with these little coffee mugs. They've got little um, paper bottoms and then they have the plastic lid on top. They come blank like this, um, and I made up a couple samples so that you can get an idea of what to do with them. And there's a little coffee saying on top there. This would be great for um, little birthday favors. There's candy in there. Um, but different things you can put inside. And obviously lots of different occasions you can use them for. Um, just something for a friend, maybe somebody's desk at work, um, birthday parties, graduations are popular right now. So that might be a really good idea for you. So. Um, some of these things like this already come in little packages, which is really nice, saves you a lot of time. But I want to show you how to cover the coffee mug. And what's nice about that is you can make it any, any occasion that you want. Maybe it's a baby shower. You can use some little cute baby paper. Um, like I said, birthdays. It could be, you know, any kind of occasion this would work for. So that's what's really fun. It's versatile. So first, you would need to start with some type of pattern. And I find that the easiest way to figure out how to make something is to actually take it apart. So that's what I did. I took apart the coffee mug, and um, so it was like that. I just took, took it off, and then I just traced it on some cardstock. Okay, so that gave me my pattern. So now I know if I cut this out and trace it on any kind of paper that I want, it's going to fit on my mug. So, um, when you buy, these come 10 to a package. When you buy a package of 10, you get a free template. So, I'll, I'll save you the tearing apart of your mug. So, go ahead and trace it on any paper that you like. I generally do it on the back side of what I want to sh expose or show. So, that way my pencil line doesn't show on the front. So, so simply cut that out. And then I use tape, or you could use any type of stronger adhesive, like a zip dry is a really good adhesive for that. Um, once you get your adhesive on here, um, you start, there's a little seam in the back, so you can kind of start there. And then you just work your way around until you're already all the way in the back. And that's that. The one thing that I will point out is the piece goes this way on your mug. I'm sure you'll figure it out when you go to put it on, but I first started going like this and it doesn't fit, obviously. So it's just a little bit odd and keep that in mind. If you're cutting something out that has a pattern, um, in this case it didn't really matter because it was just an all over pattern, um, but if you need something to be going um, the right way, you wanna make sure that you're using your template the correct way. Um, the other thing right on top, um, these little circles are one and a quarter inches circle punch, and it just fits perfectly in there. So that's the right size for the top of the coffee mug. And I think that's it. So get your brain going. I'm sure you can think of something to use these really fun mugs for. Have a great day.